I'm Val, and these are my friends. Thank you so much, Square Enix, for giving me early access to Visions of Mana. Absolutely loved playing this game, and it's always an honor when you give me a code for reviewing one of your games. Visions of Mana comes out on the 29th of August. If you haven't already, please play the demo. Let's chat about Visions of Mana then. Visions of Mana. Visions of Mana is a brand new series revolving around the Sacred Sword and Mana. I have not played this series before. I am aware of the series, but this is my first taste of a Mana game. When the demo launched, I jumped onto the demo, played it for my Twitch community, and absolutely loved the game. The game, it felt completely different to anything I was playing at the time. Story-wise, how do I explain this without spoiling it? Okay, so I absolutely love the story. I did not expect this story whatsoever. There was a lot of twists and turns. This is a story about love, lost, and also revenge as well. So stick with the story, guys, because as I played the demo, I really, really enjoyed the demo, and I thought, oh, this is only going one way. No. <laughs> so without spoiling it enjoy the story get lost in that story guys there are many side quests to do as well so you can level up as well level up your characters get extra equipment get extra items get extra money this is a game that is going to keep you busy for for a long time but not in the tedious way we follow val and his childhood friend hina the newly appointed arm of fire as they venture to the mana tree now, on the way, we actually find other characters who are the arms of different elements. I like this idea. With their elements comes their elemental plot as well, which is their abilities that you can learn within that, they call it vessel. And each vessel is available to every character. So, just because we've got, let's just say, Hina, who's the uh, arm of fire, it doesn't mean that we can only use fire with that character. We can use every different element as we unlock it throughout the game we can use every element available to us with every character they just have a different form which i think is absolutely awesome they don't look exactly the same every character is unique to that vessel which i think is like i said i, I absolutely loved it because i was using some just because of their look rather than the abilities get yeah, battle mechanics on this game the battle mechanics were something different to what i was playing at the time and I genuinely, genuinely needed this refreshing change of pace. I enjoyed how you can switch your characters on the fly. You can only control three characters in a battle and you can switch between them as you go through the battle. Set up your characters as you wish with whatever look you want, whatever element you want, and whatever weapon you want them to be using. Before you start the fights or as you roam it around the world of Visions of Mana, you can actually switch your party out. So you can switch your party out if you prefer to use other characters for certain parts of the game or if you think this boss battle needs these abilities but they're only on this person for this elemental plot then let's use this character voice acting i thought every single one of them were on point i really really enjoyed listening to every single character i love the artwork the art style of it but it's very polished each character is very vibrant as well and as we're talking about characters the characters as we come across them, there's kind of like a found family by the end of the game, if I'm honest with you. They've all got their own backstory. Some of them are so tragic. How they've come up with these stories, it's unbelievable. The interaction between the rest of the party during most cutscenes is quite fun. Some of them are funny, some of them are serious. The dynamic of the group genuinely works with all these characters, no matter which, which combination we have in the party. You will see you have beginner to hard. There's quite a lot of options on there. If you just want to go for pure story and not really worry about the gameplay as such, play it on beginner. There is an option of New Game Plus as well, guys. So if you want to run through the story and not be spoiled by tough gameplay, if you are more of a story person than you are a gameplay person and you think you're going to struggle on certain bosses or certain areas, play it on beginner. I won't judge you. I would do the same. So New Game Plus is the first unlockable. The second unlockable is Expert Mode. So, there we go, guys. So, hard isn't the hardest mode for Visions of Mana. Once you complete the game, you actually get expert mode as well. This game isn't open world. It's, uh, I think they class it as semi-open world, where you kind of, you're in different areas. You have to go certain paths, but it is also open to a certain extent as well. So, it isn't exactly open world, but the design for the enemies are absolutely, it's crazy. Okay, so, we're playing a game where we have to defeat monsters, but 
We're fighting enemies as we go along. And most of the enemies are so cute. It's like, it's really weird. It feels bad actually defeating them as well. Character designs, it really caught me off guard when I played it on the demo. And then when I jumped into the actual game itself, the main game, I was like, oh, so there's more characters like this. And they're still trying to attack us, so we have to beat them up. It's, uh, it felt bad. It felt bad because they were so cute. But yes, enjoy the character designs for the enemies as well, guys. To change your classes with a character, you can actually change the weapon as well. So let's just say we've got Val, our character that we start off with. If we give him the fire vessel, then he's going to have a lance. If we give him a the water vessel, he's going to have a sword. Most characters have three different weapon types as well. Some use their heels, some use a fan, katana. There's so many different options out there, whatever you prefer to use. Think about that when you're also changing vessels as well. The game itself gives you a guidebook as well, so uh, make sure you refer to this if you ever get stuck in the game. You're going to have combat abilities, we're going to have uh, tips and tricks, and we're also going to have enemy weaknesses as well. So we're going to uh, come across a lot of enemies in the actual game, and every time we fight them, we're going to learn more about these enemies. Check out their weaknesses, guys. There's also a tab in the menu, and also where you're actually playing mid-battle as well. It's called strategy, so you can change how the other characters act. You can have them all out attack, you can have them be a bit more defensive, uh, magic, or not use magic. You can have them use items or not use items. It's so kind of in-depth. If you want to do everything yourself and just have them back off a bit, you can do that. You can also ask them to attack either, let's just say, examples, enemies with the lowest HP, uh, enemies near them, other enemies to the one that you're actually fighting or everyone fights the same enemy. I absolutely love it, uh, especially if you were going into a boss fight and everyone is on reserve, you can just literally go, let's just change the strategy and let's have everyone use all the abilities, all the magic, let's just jump in and just go all out attack. Play around with the party composition as well guys, it experiments with it, experiment, that's why we've got so many different uh, vessels to choose from here. So let's just say we're using Val. I always use Val as an example. We're using Val. Uh, water's not working. To so let's go to fire. Let's go to light. Let's go to dark. We can see different versions of him. What he unlocks during the elemental plot as well. Um, try out different combinations. It's it's up to you guys. It's up to you. Play around with everything. There is kind of a little side quest in this game. There's a little cactus. He goes on a little journey. You get a little diary, a blog of where he's been, and he's he's available in each section. So try and find as many of these cactuses as you can. Grizzly honey out there, please pick up this for the bears, okay? Pick up every single grizzly that you can find because you would use these to buy stuff that you can't actually buy in the shops. So they have their separate shops when you see a bear in a town or a city. They have items there which can boost your stats. That is always a win. That's always a win, guys. You can never have too many grizzlies, though. So always collect these when you see them. Sometimes they'll be on their own. Sometimes they'll be in a little group. Sometimes they'll even be a big one, which is like t worth 10 grizzlies. I was collecting these as I played through. And then when I found my first bear, I was like, hold on a minute. How many have I got? And... They were depleted. They were depleted because I wanted everything. So you will be using them. So get them. Don't think you've got too many. You can never have too many of these guys. There are Nicola coins where you can actually get ability seeds. The ability seeds are extra kind of add-on effects. So sometimes it's like a, a plus 10 to your attack or a uh, you know plus 15 to your defense some of them are also abilities as well so you can have a fireball as one of them or a thunderstorm as another so there are abilities and as we go through the game as well we i think we start with two and then we uh, then we unlock more slots so we can put some more ability slots on there so collect these nicola coins this has made me want to play the previous incarnations of these uh, the mana series so i genuinely think if I'm feeling this way about Visions of Mana and you guys are big fans of the Mana series, you're going to love this. You're going to love the storyline, where it goes, what you're able to do. Um, I think it's just incredible. So all in all, my uh, my thoughts on this game, my thoughts on this game, I had a great time. Like I said, minute one to the end of the game, absolutely loved it. I cannot hype this game up more for you guys. I genuinely 
feel like I would spoil the story if I tell you much more about it, but please, you need to jump into this game and enjoy what Square Enix have bought you with Visions of Mana. Thank you so much for giving me a code to play this game, early access. I will be playing this on stream for you guys. Thank you for checking out my video on Visions of Mana. Please check out these other videos. And again, thank you so much. If you haven't already, give this video a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel.